So in this video, I'm gonna be showcasing this strategy and to date, we've probably generated close to half a million from this strategy at this point. So yeah, it's actually super simple, but if you do it wrong, you could actually explode your churn rates and annoy the crap out of your list. So please use this correctly and in context, uh, as well as watch till the end of this video because you don't wanna get this wrong. So before I jump into a screen share to show you what the strategy actually is, I'm just gonna break down some of the basic in, in terms of which scenarios you should be using this in and the frequency at which you should be doing this in order to prevent your list from being completely burnt and the segments that you should be sending to. So when it comes to the scenarios, make sure you're only using it for like massive events when it comes to your business, whether it be a collection launch that is like absolutely huge where you're, it's like hugely anticipated and things like that or promotional periods where it's for super important holidays. For example, uh, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, Easter, uh, New Year's and uh, Black Friday, right? The reason why you want to be using it during like really intense promotional periods is because your subscribers inbox will be absolutely full of brands trying to reach out to them. So you really need to go the extra mile to kind of stand out uh, from the crowd. And in terms of frequency at which you should be using strategies like this, you can kind of use it quarterly or kind of every other month. Every month is slightly too much, but uh, yeah, every other month is perfect. This strategy involves aggressively sending booster emails in a strategic way so that you maximize your open rates and you maximize your conversions. So let's jump into a screen share and I'll show you how everything works. So when it comes to the double down strategy, there's actually three of, well, quite a few or infinite variations you can do. There's a two day, three day and a four day. These are like the, the most conventional. However, if you wanna really extend it, I, would, I wouldn't really go for more than five days if I'm being completely honest. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna outline the four day and then from there, I'm gonna just explain what the difference is between the uh, two day and the three day. By the way, my drawing looks legit like cave paintings. So when it comes to the four day double down strategy, essentially you're just sending booster emails really aggressively to maximize open rates and to maximize engagement with your list. So let's say, you know, you're, you're running an offer. So the offer day is like this and we split it into four days, right? So uh, right there. So four days, four different days. On day one, so this is this would be day one. This is like the pre-launch or the pre-release uh, of your products if you're doing a product launch versus if you're doing a uh, promo, right? So this is when you wanna actually announce the offer or the product that you're launching. So this is day one. This is what we would do, the pre-sale announcement or the uh, uh, pre-launch announcement. So in this email, essentially you're telling, telling your audience that you're launching a product, launching X at this time in the next, let's say 24, 48 hours. And this is essentially to give them a heads up in terms of, hey, you know, we're doing something really, really exciting at 7 p.m. Pacific tomorrow. Be on the lookout for your inbox. So essentially what this is called is priming your audience uh, to receive either the offer or get ready to purchase the product. So this is a super, super important email and it's important to the point where some people even like boost this one as well. But personally, I just don't really like to boost this email. Um, we don't really see like a huge uh, lift in conversions when it comes to the boost. So day two, this is like launch day. So essentially this is like probably the highest return email you can uh, send for the entire sequence. So it's really, really important that you actually boost this. So essentially this is saying, hey, you know, the sale is live or maybe this product product is live and you should come and purchase it now before anyone else can uh, and before we sell out. So this is where you want to um, really focus on, hey, this is really exciting, you know, launch email, most important, really high impact. So yeah, high, highest impact email, right? So you want to boost this one definitely. And then for day three, it's essentially just like a reminder, reminder email, you know, you can either focus on the benefits, uh, community or um, the offer itself, maybe add a bit of urgency or something along those lines. Uh, to the actual emails, that's that works incredibly well when it comes to just uh, picking off the low hanging fruits from the launch day. And then for this one, obviously you definitely want to boost it as well. So uh, this one, let's do, let's put boost, right? And then for, for day four, this is essentially a final 
uh, last call, I guess, like last call. Essentially, you're placing a hard deadline on the either the product launch or the sale. So this is super, super effective in terms of triggering uh, FOMO in your audience and can be really hugely converting. Um, sometimes we even see this email beat out the emails that go out on day three. Um, so yeah, generally speaking, I have seen people do uh, two booster emails on the same day. So essentially how that would work is uh, you send a boot, uh, you send out the email in the morning and then you send out the booster in the evening and right before, let's say 30 minutes or an hour or two hours before the offer expires, you actually send out a booster email to um, the people that have clicked but not purchased in the last few days. So this is a really, really helpful way of uh, doing emails and making sure that you're just adding that tiny, tiny bit of urgency to people that have shown really, really high interest, aka the people that have clicked but not purchased over the past few days, and just giving them that extra little nudge, right? Like, hey, complete your purchase. You only have like 30 minutes, so we don't want you to lose out. So this is also really, really powerful. Uh, but generally speaking, you know, if your frequency is super high with campaigns already, I would recommend you sending out the third booster or if you don't know how to segment it properly, I really don't recommend it. But if you do know how to segment it properly, then that third email could be pretty effective as well. So when it comes to uh, doing this four day double down strategy or two day, three day double down, anything you want, uh, it's really, really important that you, and I cannot stress this enough, right? You only send to highly, highly engaged segments. Otherwise you will, likely or run the risk of burning your domain in terms of uh, just uh, flushing your deliverability down the toilet. And um, if you send to people that, you know, don't really show too much interest in your emails, not only are you going to get lower engagement, but you actually might also annoy some people simply because of the sheer volume at which you're sending these emails in. So one of the things I would really highly recommend, I know I gave like uh, quite a few content ideas right here. I would actually recommend you test content uh, for different email, but when it comes to, let's say running an offer or a promotion, for example, you really want to be getting creative and testing different offers, right? So for example, to just give you an idea of what are the offers that I like to test for clients and uh, the one that kind of outperforms is basically any offer that isn't like the traditional 10%, 20%, 35% off, right? Or like 33% off. This is really boring. This is just boring offers where it's super linear, everyone's doing it. You wanna actually get exciting, right? Because think about it, when you make purchases and when it comes to considering offers, when you see like a 20%, you kind of know what you're getting into and you don't really think about the offers too much. However, with an offer like uh, so something like buy three, get one free, this is essentially the same as 25% off, right? Effectively, except here you have the pros of, you get to increase average order value, higher AOV. And generally speaking, to be honest, it actually converts a lot better from our own split tests. So why not just reposition your offer for a high average order value and higher perceived value as well? Because when it comes to running buy three, get one free offers, what you're gonna do is you're actually gonna trigger the uh, your potential customer to actually think about the offer. They're gonna think, oh, how much is that free item worth? And that it's gonna trigger all of these thoughts about your offer and ultimately basically just have your products live in their head rent free, right? And that's a really, really great place to be in. So in terms of a few other offers that I know really work well is a free X with every order above above uh, Y. So this is another offer that works really, really well in terms of increasing the average order value, but also when it comes to giving away a free, very, very specific item, what's gonna happen is you're gonna know exactly what the costs are associated to that item. So you're gonna be able to control your margins very, very tightly. And another one is actually a free premium shipping. So the reason I haven't said next day is because I know next day is available in the UK, but I'm not sure um, how many brands are able to actually offer that in the US. So just call it like free premium shipping, something along those lines. If uh, shipping costs is actually one of the things that you find out to be a barrier to purchase from your customers. And that could be identified as uh, from things like Hotjar or uh, just basically any survey software, right? Generally with these offers, you really wanna be using heavy hitters, right? You, if you wanna do like a uh, four day double down strategy, I don't recommend just doing it with some uh, random like 10% off because it's just not appealing enough. And 
it really will run the risk of just putting your entire list off of your brand because you're sending so many emails and they just might churn, right? So make sure when it comes to using like a four day double down strategy, you really use the heavy hitter offers. Unless the only exception where like a 10% would work is if you're like a brand that maybe does like an offer once a year or something along those lines, then it could also be super powerful as well. So yeah, go test it out and uh, email me your results at Boyan at plethora.com. I'll get my video editor to shoot up my email on the screen. And yeah, if you're an e-commerce brand and you have any questions regarding email marketing, I would actually love to help you. So ask any questions in via email or just book in a call with me down below if you're a brand owner and we'd love to potentially work with you on your email channels. Now, I wanted to just cover uh, the difference between the four day double down strategy versus the three day and the two day. So essentially with the three day, it's just uh, you know pre-sale pre announcement or pre-launch announcement, launch day, and then the reminder um, the day three will serve as both day three and day four in the day, uh, four day double down strategy. And the two day one would just be pre-sale announcement, launch day, and that's it. So super, super simple. Essentially the higher magnitude, order of magnitude, the event or the offer, the more days you wanna use. Uh, but generally speaking, I really don't recommend you going past that four day barrier. We haven't really at the agency done anything more than four days as well, because typically by the fourth day and by like the ninth email, uh, we see conversions start going downhill and we really don't like to see that. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I, I hope you found it useful. Now, one thing I did not teach in this video, and I'm so thankful that you stuck with me to the end, is how to actually send a proper booster email. So I have already made a video on this and I'll link it down in the video description below. So make sure to watch, watch that video before you actually go ahead and implement this strategy for your brand. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next week.